Oh, lettuce is in the basement? That's such a weird sentence. Where's the lettuce? There it is. <laughs> 132 mil. Very good. The crab hats are selling for so much. Inferno minion is not worth it in the end if you're spending about three bill a week and won't even get a good drop. It's not worth money, but maybe a good video. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> How do other people make billions? It makes no sense to me. Your guess is as good as mine, man. I mean, people sweat this game so much. I could imagine getting to like four bill like ever. <laughs> Not ever. If we're talking in the past three years of the game, you sweat the whole freaking time. 10 bill. Probably. 10 billion. You literally played a 10,000, 10,000 hours. How many hours do I have play time? I have 4,000 hours. I didn't use it in the most optimal way, especially in the past year. So like, let's say someone has 7,000 hours in their profile, 10 bill net worth. Just playing the game, getting the coins himself, selling things for market value. Beyond that, like these people that are getting like 10 bill in like a couple months, they gotta be doing some crazy market manipulation type stuff, flipping installing software if i was i if i was staff i'd be investigating every player that has over 10 billion coins personally I, i'm just saying i still find it funny that like the warp scroll to get here i don't know if it's still a bill but like at one point it was like 800 mil or something when the other warp scroll is literally like right there afk cactus farms make like 50 mil a day i'm talking about the manual ones are those like are those afk cactus farms still a thing because i feel like that's a major problem that they probably shouldn't allow right now a hundred million health yeah i'm not gonna be that guy that starts a second freaking boss you're doing a tier four look at this man what the hell is that attack what is the what is oh that's never mind that's a freaking i'm just an idiot wait th that blaze is corrupted now let me get it away from this guy so it doesn't freaking kill him. You got this, bro. I'm rooting for you. Why is he looking away? He's doing this fight in a very strange way. You can probably manage a tier four blaze. I can kill them with less gear than you. I mean, it depends on what is added. Like there's gonna be some new stage. I can deal with fire pillars now because mithril coat i can deal with the fire things as long as i'm not stupid or the magma pits whatever what does the tier four have 49 mil this is a long fight can i help him am i able to help this man no he died <laughs> you know we gave him the support that we could but at the end of the day it wasn't enough oh interesting the boss is kind of stuck behind a spoong. Can you see if you can do all the... Can you do a Void Gloom Tier 4 with your new gear? I think most of it still works outside of the Nether Island. I mean, this gear? I mean, I'd swap out the Mithril Coat for just another Necron... Or the Necron chest play, right? I have a feeling the Strongman of 5 is going to make the fight a lot easier. And the fact that I have Golden Dragon with a bill in the bank is also going to make my damage much 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 better is there any enchantments i gotta fix for the scylla oh i'm missing a gemstone is that the wait the wait 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 wait, wait. why am i missing a gemstone player transfer cooldown hold on let's let's see what we can do here jasper gemstone there we go claim outdated gemstones oh because that's from when it was a different type of necron blade strongman uh five per piece only gives four so full set gives 16 strength is it really that bad are you kidding me anything i should worry about oh by the way i weighed in i think it was yesterday 174.4 so the lowest I weighed was 170 flat. So I went up like four and a half pounds because I'm on a creatine load right now, but that's not the impressive thing, right? Like adding five pounds is normal when you're on creatine, right? Actually, sometimes it's more than that. But what's funny is I weighed uh, 175.9 or something right before my trip to Dallas for DreamHack. If you haven't seen that video, by the way, watch it it was funny and it was cool but no one watched it because it wasn't freaking minecraft so watch it it's cool 
if it's if this is put in the video hey fezzy hi hello uh, it's gonna be over there in the top right hand corner click it all i ended up losing weight despite eating literal garbage for not literal garbage and also since nobody's arguing with me here i think we can add this to our scylla without arguments so boom slightly better scylla very good yeah look at me streaming skyblock past midnight again it's been a while since i've done that what would you do if a five-year-old kid came up to you and said date my mom <laughs> You know what's funny? I was that kid. Oh, that's awful. I I did that to my mom once. She must have been mortified. We were in the grocery store. <laughs> and my mom was single at the time, and I was probably five. Or younger, maybe. And um, this random guy in the grocery store, I would I would be like, Hey, did you know my mom was single? I, I literally did that. That's so funny that chat asked that question where do you see yourself in five years uh just for fun let's say five and a half years because i'm 24 and i'm gonna be 25 in six months so where do i see myself at 30 years old oh god uh okay in 30 at 30 years old so five and a half years from now i would see myself being financially independent completely like i would have enough money invested obviously my car would be paid off um if I decided to get solar panels, those would be paid off. My investments, whatever I get in income from, let's say, dividends or whatever, would be enough to pay my monthly expenses. I could effectively retire if I wanted. I would not. That's something I would foresee happening in more like two years time, though. By the time I hit five years, maybe, I don't know, I'll have a couple rental properties, like three or four rental properties be one of the cool landlords that doesn't up rent and screw people that's the finances side of it obviously i'd want to be in the best shape of my life i'm talking like 10 percent body fat six pack um again that's more like a year and a half two years from now is what i would want that i don't know five years is a long freaking time a lot of these goals are like for two years from now. It'd be nice to be in a committed relationship by that, by then. The kids question, I'm not even going to approach the question. Like, I'm not even going to think about whether or not I want kids until I'm 30 years old. Like, the, answer's n the answer for now is no, basically. And then once I hit 30 years old, I reassess. Get a nice uh, lanai in the back of the house, have like a... A nice chill area maybe a fire pit maybe um i don't know upgrade the house to the point where it's a cool place to have events parties whatever again probably less than two years i'm gonna have that done not be stuck in skyblock still <laughs> imagine hit a million subs on youtube yeah that'd be a good goal for five years from now get fezzy to move in that's not really a goal this is something that may or may not happen be a little weird wouldn't it my goal is to convince fezzy to move in <laughs> <laughs> what is the max number of videos that are good quality that you think you can get out of one day consistently depends on the topic skyblock if i really pushed myself it's also a matter of for how long i think if like a gun was put to my head and it was like if you don't make three high quality skyblock videos every day for the next month you'll die i'd survive i'd hate myself like i could do it I could record three high quality skyblock videos every day probably for a month but then the burnout would be intense that being said you know i don't know if there's that much content left in skyblock to do something like that without eventually the quality starting to degrade like i'd come up with a plan and be like okay i have about 10 ideas for tutorials i can come up with i could do about eight hours of stream a day and those highlights would probably produce two videos so that right there is three videos per day and then the remaining like 20 videos that would no longer be from tutorials would be like i don't know maybe i would do a challenge profile maybe i do bingo maybe um maybe i can make more than 10 tutorials maybe i could code another skyblock update you know what's your favorite scouting memory scouting memory i don't know if there's a best moment there's definitely some funny moments i remember once there was this uh camp out called the freezery and the whole point was that it was all like awful very very cold negative temperatures you need to bring a heater into your tent that sort of thing they had a bunch of events right they had a snow sledding race they had build a shelter for your camp master 
So we built like an igloo basically for him. Meanwhile, we all got tents and it got hot in the igloo actually. I didn't know that was a thing, but it got it gets hot in there apparently. One of the events you built snowshoes beforehand and I like wove it together out of sticks or whatever and tied the knots. Apparently I didn't do a good job because when it came time for me to go out in the field and do the race in the snowshoes, the shoes fell apart. <laughs> It, they just like disintegrated underneath me. <laughs> it was really funny. Then there was this time when um, we were pulling a sled, literal sled dogs, basically me and like five other scouts from our troop pulling another scout in a sled. And what happened was we came to a hill. We started at the top and then we started going down. The sled was on skis. So these six scouts were pulling the sled and then suddenly we start going downhill. So then what happens is the sled starts sliding on its own. It doesn't even need people in front of it. So <laughs> it, it went from us pulling the sled to us running away to avoid getting run over by the sled that was speeding up faster than we could run down the hill. Eventually, of course, this this poor kid, he, he, he got <laughs> run over by the sled basically. And you know, the rest of us managed to get out of the way. This one kid gets run over and the sled doesn't stop. It continues sliding down the hill, just pulling him along with it. And he's like, guys, stop, stop the sled. You're running me over. And then that same guy um, ended up begging my ex to date him like six months after we broke up. Grab a tillin. Thank you for the 10, dude. I was going to say something earlier. Got busy vibing to the stream music. <laughs> I also used to be a scout. Got the Sub-Zero award because it got to negative 20 during our camp out. Midwest sucks. Stay chilling in Florida. Well, I was up in upstate New York when all that went down, but damn, bro. That's so cool that we like, like, that's one of the cool things about the internet is like i could talk about these experiences and at least somebody can relate you know that's that's neat i find it really funny i this guy had the worst job in the world at this campsite where it was negative degrees outside his job was to basically fake drown in a frozen lake and then have 12 year olds like rescue him over and over again like they'd line up to practice saving somebody from drowning and this guy had to be in a wetsuit in freezing ice cold water and fake drown all day. I mean, they probably had shifts, but still like, damn. You ever hear about heavy water? Do you like playing horror games? Not really. I used to, I, I made a few videos about Slender the A pages. What is going on with my fishing speed, bro? Here's how you do it, right? If a game has value, I think those elements should be a part of it but it should not be the main show. You know what I mean? I think Subnautica is one of the best games of all time. And I don't consider it a horror game, but there are moments. But that's not the point of the game. That's just something that happens along the way. So I think a good movie can have scary parts for sure. But if that's the whole point, then why am I there? It's kind of like a cheap cop out. Like what's a better utilization of that right you're swimming through the water you see this giant cliff that drops into nothingness and then the pda chimes in saying this is the dead zone don't go out there do not and then you go out there anyway and you hear in the distance like this thing screaming and you turn you don't see anything and then in the corner of your vision you keep going out in the corner of vision you see a little something go and then you're like, whoa. And then you look straight down. This thing just goes, Woof, and then you're dead. Like, that's freaky as hell. And you're playing FNAF, and then you just don't check a door, and then something just goes, bah! and then like, you know what I mean? In Subnautica, there's so many other things going on. Whereas in FNAF, it's just, oh, you get scared. No offense to FNAF. It has its value for the younger audience, I think. And, you know, I, I get involved in the story. I kind of like the story. But, you know what I mean. Especially the original FNAF. But, uh, anyways. Uh, Phantoms Gamer, thank you for another five. Another hilarious video that I found again was the ultimate showdown with Mike and Anthony in Tank Trouble. Ah. When you said Anthony and sniped him. 